Tinubu wanted power, but was not prepared for governance. Badam! <laughs> Hello, guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Obiara Ifo, the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, in this executive interview with uh, Inabong Iwak spoke on President Bola Tinubu's one year in office and the state of Labour Party. The government is not working in the last one year. We have not seen anything that is pro masses if there is. We have seen more hunger. We have seen more corruption in high places. We have seen the award of contracts that do not have bearing on the people. We have seen high level, have valued contracts with our due processes, U exchange rates moving up and down. We have not had it so bad. Inflation is moving to 33.69% now. We have had it so bad. We have seen tears, misery, and blood in the last one year. However, Nigerians know that there is hope on the horizon, and Nigerians have preservance. Preserv but where did Tunubu get it wrong? Is it his policies? He was asked. It is not about policy now. It is about preparedness. Tunubu was not prepared. He wanted power, but he he never knew the enormity of the problem on ground. The statistics they gave him before he ventured into this was largely crossed over so he thought it was easy you remember the emil Ocon slogan Tunubu came on the promise that it is their own turn to rule not as if he has anything to offer so if it is not about policy if you have competent person to drive policy you will get bad results and that is what we are getting today from the economy to education, banking, anything you can think of, he is a statute with politicians that cannot think. Look at the man handling our difference, the man that could not do anything in Zamfara State. They made him the defense minister. Up to today, insecurity has taken over Nigeria because you have people who are incompetent to do that. Inflation is grappling. When the Labour Party was campaigning, we said Nigeria needs to move from consumption to production, but this government intensified consumption. There is nothing like production that is that is why we cannot buy food again in Nigeria. That is why Labour is asking that that amount for minimum wage because you just increase electricity prices like that like at food and with all these you are still paying 30,000 naira as minimum wage and these people are spending huge amounts on food and living how do you expect people to survive with this current minimum wage that the government is offering there is total collapse in the system you can see the poverty and probably one day people will, will get into the streets. Most of his ministers are misfits. I don't know of any minister that is working and giving up more to that position. If you are to advise uh, giving forward what should Tunubu be doing, he was asked he should stop jacketing all over the world claiming to be marketing nigeria we cannot market a bad product people that want to come to nigeria but investors don't even know what would happen to their investment 
There is a lot of investment in Lagos and because of the coastal road you demolished, is that how you would encourage people to come? Let him stay in Nigeria and monitor what is happening. Every day things are worsening. The money he is using to travel across the globe can be can can found can fund agriculture. Okay. The government should stop borrowing. The past government overborrowed and this man came to continue the same trend. But his money would be paid by unborn generations. Unfortunately, when this money is borrowed, it is looted. But we have the National Assembly. We are not seeing opposition lawmakers speak about anti-people policies. Do you agree? That is not entirely true. The opposition lawmakers are speaking. But their voices are not heard because the APC lawmakers are the majority and the National Assembly is presided by the APC members. They decide who they want to give the floor to speak and who not to. Sometimes they benefit more being APC members in the chamber. I am not saying Labour members cannot do more. They can do better, but in most of the committees, you find less than 10% of opposition members chairing. Most of the committees are chaired by APC lawmakers. You saw what happened to an open Senator Ali Udome when he raised the alarm about budgetary spending. He was suspended because of his revelations. This is what opposition law lawmakers suffer in the National Assembly. Okay, is a uh, Ningi. All right, it's not Ali Udome, it was Ningi, Adulai Ningi. Peter Obi visited Atiku and other PDP chiefs. And could you speak at the meetings? The meeting is coming together of people of like minds, leaders who have studied the trajectory of Nigeria in the last one year, leaders who are listening to the cries of Nigerians, leaders who are taught that things are not going the way it should go. I mean leaders who are of the opinion that if they continue to watch in silence, Nigeria could go into serious crisis. They think it is proper for them to talk on how to liberate Nigeria from the administration of the present government. Every Nigeria, both the rich and the poor, is facing challenge by the current leadership in Nigeria today. The little we gathered from their meeting is that it has to do with politics and that today our presidential candidate visited other presidential aspirants, including Bukala Sariki and Sule Lamedo Atiku, also visited Baba, uh, Babangida Aliyu of Niger uh, of Niger State. And I think this visit is ongoing and good for uh, policies. So guys, um, what's your take on this? Uh, kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Obiara said, President Bola Metinobu did not really understand, you know, the system in Nigeria when he said he wants to become Nigerian's president because he's stunned. Is he just wanted power but was not prepared for governance? Do you agree with him? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.